Hi everyone, welcome to Observe and Resolve, your go-to series for troubleshooting and analyzing cloud-native technologies. I'm Henrik Rexed, and today I'm diving into one of the hottest topics in the cloud-native world, Istio, and its amazing logging capabilities. So, what exactly is a service mesh? Think of it as an ultimate traffic manager for your Kubernetes cluster. And when it comes to service meshes, Istio is a superstar, especially when it comes to observability. If you want to learn more about service mesh and especially Istio, check the following episode. Logs are like the oldest trick in the book for observability. Remember, when you first start encoding, you created logs to debug your code. Yeah, logs have been our trusty psychic forever. But let's be real, they can be a bit messy to handle. Why? Because logs are super unstructured. They can be anywhere and in any format, making it tough to extract meaningful information. Thanks to OpenTelemetry and its semantic conventions, we can now add standardized metadata to our log, making them way easier to manage. And if you're working in a Kubernetes environment, it's get even better with standardized Kubernetes metadata. Let's get back to Envoy logs. When you use Istio in a sidecar mod, each pod gets a sidecar proxy, the Envoy proxy. Envoy handles all the traffic based on Istio rules and produce logs for every incoming and outgoing request. These logs are gold mines of information. But here is the catch. Logs can pile up fast and storing them can be a nightmare. So how can we make the most of our logs without drawing in data? Simple, we turn logs into metrics and events using Open Pipeline. Here what we're going to learn in from this episode. We will filter logs at the source, use Open Pipeline to transform logs into metrics, create anomaly detections rules for Istio, and then check out dashboard to see how much storage we saved in observability setup. So let's see the observability set setup. To get started, we'll need a few things. So we'll configure Istio to produce logs in an open telemetry format. We'll set up a log agents like Dynatrace or it could be FluentBit or the open telemetry collector. In my case, I'll be using the Dynatrace distro for open telemetry. We'll deploy, of course, the Dynatrace operator to monitor our Kubernetes workload. Now let's see the right open pipeline. So to start, we will open a notebook and we'll run the following query that parses the Envoy logs and creates all the relevant properties required to detect networking issues. One important field is the response flag. This field is equal to dash if there are no networking issue. Otherwise, the response flag contains different code highlighting the network issue, such as response times, timeout, rate limiting, and more. This field will be used later when we build our anomaly detection rules. As you can see, I'm also parsing the URL to group them into simplified URL. This is an important step because it will reduce the cardinality of our future metric. Once we have our query, we can open now the Open Pipeline app and create a new Envoy pipeline. This involves putting the query steps in a DQL processor, then creating metrics from extracted data like the byte received, the request durations, uh, counting the requests, and of course, adding the relevant details as metric dimensions. Finally, we'll configure the storage to avoid storing Envoy logs explicitly. We'll define a pipeline route that will be used every time a log line is ingested by Dynatrace. Let's check the impact on the log volume using the log ingest overview dashboard. You can see here we have a significant reduction in the log volume thanks to our pipeline. And we'll end, we have also the right metrics to track requests and their status. With the metrics, we can now consider creating an anomaly detection rule in Davis for each Istio problem patterns. And there you have it. By leveraging logs without impacting our storage, we've made an observability setup even more efficient. If you'd like to try this in your environment, check out the following GitHub repository with all the instructions to have this in your environment. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more episodes of Observance Drove. Thanks for watching, and see you for another episode.